Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're gonna crush a car between two other cars at the same time if everything goes according to plan. To do this, we need a nice big straightaway, so we could either go to Endless Highway or Grid Small Pier. We're gonna try Endless Highway just because it has a little bit more details to it that we can look at if it works out. Obviously, to do what I just said, we're gonna need three cars. So let's go ahead and spawn some vehicles up first. We'll do, um, Two more, and then we gotta decide what vehicles we're gonna use for this. So I'm thinking, let's start off by doing some off-road trucks, slamming into a car, and crushing that car between the trucks. And I want the two trucks that crush to be exactly the same, so we're gonna make them exactly the same. So we're gonna use both off-road, and we're gonna put them to both red, even though it doesn't matter because they all go red. But that way, if I respawn it or something, it'll still be red. And then the car we're gonna crush, I think we should use... Well, you know, I could really use any car here. It's always just... Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do I want to see get crushed? And I'm thinking I'm going to go for the Grand Marshal because I never get to crush Grand Marshals because I never drive Grand Marshals. Good thing about crushing cars, I don't have to drive it. So we're going to use that. We'll get it in blue. So we got some blue and some red vehicles, all nice and pretty. Now we're going to use the map editor to line everything up in a way which will allow the car to get crushed from both sides at the same time. So once you're in the map editor, you're going to hold shift and hit C. That way you can select any car by their Beam and G Drive logo and place it wherever you want. So we're going to start off by replacing this truck in its location, which should be, um, well, far away from here. Let's do 200 away. So we're going to put this one at 0, negative 200, 0. Now it's way down there, and we're going to have to rotate it 180 degrees. So for the rotation, we're going to put 0, 0, 1, 180. And that's 1, then 180. That means it's now rotated 180 degrees, so it's pointed right towards where we are right now. Now we're going to do a similar thing to this car, but we're going to do it the opposite direction. So all we actually have to do for this one is we're going to put 0, 200, 0. And now that car should be way over there, and it's pointed still going towards the blue car. Now we're going to line the blue car up right in the center of them both, so we're just going to put that one to 0. And every vehicle is now in position, as far as I know, for this to work. The only thing left is to actually try it and see if it does work. So let's go ahead and get out of the map editor. Now, since they're both 200 meters away, all we should have to do is just tell the AI to chase me. And they should both start driving at the exact same time, at the exact same speed, at the exact same everything, which means I should get crushed right in between them at pretty much the exact same time. Ex... So, well, okay, not quite the exact same. You see right there, that did not actually go according to plan. For some reason, the truck on the left came slightly faster. I'm not exactly sure what could what, why it would do that. Like to me, I thought that was a surefire, easy setup. I guess not. We'll try moving this car back a little bit. Oh, it's stuck in the ground. I wonder if that has something to do with it. Cars are getting stuck in the ground. So we'll move it back to about there. See if that makes it a little bit better. Hopefully, it's consistent. If the other car gets here first by a long shot now, man, I'm confused why it wouldn't be consistent at least. Right, so we got the cars coming. That looks pretty good. Keep it go. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. It's gonna be like almost simultaneously. So like boom, it hits. Boom, the other one hits it. 100 times slow mo. That's so close to simultaneous. That's pretty much as close as you're gonna get. And that thing is. Oh, that's beautiful. Like if you're in that car, you're dead. But I can't believe it crushed it that badly. The amount of damage it received is just so much worse than if you were just crashing those cars into each other just themselves. It just... Wow. Alright, hold on. Let me get those trucks off of me and actually take a closer look at this thing. Alright. That is amazing. It, it literally bent the whole car into like a 90 degree angle right there. If not more. Whoa! What the... All I did was touch the gas pedal and it just shot off. Oh, wait, maybe, okay. I think the drive line was still attached somehow. When I hit the gas pedal, I think it just shot off and disappeared somehow. That was interesting. I've never seen that before. It just, all I did was, I, 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 I can't rewind this in real time, obviously, but I think it was there a second before I touched the gas pedal and that might have been what caused it for some reason. But yeah, you're definitely not going to live through that. If we look at the inside, well... There's not much inside to even look at because it's just been so condensed. Uh, overall, that went well. I'm actually quite happy with that. Let's go ahead and try it with a different vehicle, see if it holds up any better. We'll use something a little bit stronger. Let's try, um... Oh, I know. The Moonhawk. I think the Moonhawk is a little bit stronger 
Or maybe not. I don't know if the Moonhawk's strong or not. I think that might be half the fun of it, though. All right, come on. It's definitely slower. It can't get itself unstuck. There we are. Trying to back it up about the same amount, and I also got to straighten it out a bit because it wasn't exactly straight because when you respawn the car, it makes it a slightly different location than the last time. So now it should be hopefully in the middle of the two things, and now we can crush it between those two trucks. Different car. See if it holds up any better. I hear the trucks, like the second I hear the trucks is like hit the slow-mo button. They're a little bit farther away than I thought. Alright, looks like the back one is going to cut here just a little bit sooner than the front one. Don't think it'll make too big of a difference on the crash. I noticed they're only hitting me on the left side, or with their left. Well, this one's hitting me with their left, that one's hitting me with their right. But I noticed that they're hitting me at an offset angle, which is kind of interesting. I don't know what would cause that. Like, they did it both times, so it's just, I guess, something with the AI, I don't know. And it could have just been the angle they hit me at, but uh, it looks like the Moonhawk did a lot better. Stop driving at me, just stop pulling me around. Who do you think you are? I mean, here, in here, like, I don't know how many Gs you would really experience considering they're pretty much equalized since you're getting crashed by, from both directions. So in reality, you might be alright in this thing. Maybe not the passenger, but maybe the driver. Oh, man, look at the engine. Look at the angle that the engine is sitting at right now. Right, what happens if I try to drive it? Does the drive line kind of pop again? Is it still attached even? Can't tell if it's still attached. But if I hit the gas pedal, nothing's happening, so I'm assuming it's already busted somehow. That was just so weird how I just popped the car up into the air for no reason at all. I have no idea why, but it was just... I don't know. It was just so weird. And now we're going to try something different. We're going to try putting the car like this. I don't know if this is exactly centered anymore. So, it might be a little bit off. I kind of lost my positioning, to be truthful. I'm not sure if where I was was actually centered and I forgot or not. So, I'm just going to hope that that's about centered. And uh, if the trucks come into the frame at about the same time, it's probably centered up. Still farther than I thought. That's uh, pretty close to being centered up. Not quite, but it's, uh, it's, it's close enough where trying to get it more precise is really difficult. So, I'm not going to complain about it. Because it's like, boom. 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000, one, then you divide it by 100 because we're at 100 times slow-mo. And it's actually pretty much really close to simultaneous. And wow, the truck on the left just kind of drove through the Moonhawk. The other one hit it. The other, then the one on the left just comes and drives through it. Look at the hubcap flying away. Poor hubcaps. Right, let's go ahead and put this thing to full speed, get the trucks off of it, and actually look at the car because you can't even see the car with these trucks here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, um, you ain't living through that. There is no way you're gonna live through that. That truck was just literally inside of you. Can it drive, though? It almost looks like it could drive. Oh, we can at least put the power down. Because look at the engine. The engine's, like, still perfectly in its place. The front tires are busted, but the back tires are still good. The Moonhawk ain't dead yet. It should be, but it ain't. I wonder if we could do that thing I love to do with the front, uh, like a front wheel drive car where you crush everything and then ha have the front okay. I wonder if we could do that. Oh, but, oh, but I see the pigeon when I was looking for that and I'm like, oh, now I want to crush the pigeon. I just have to see the pigeon get crushed. I have to see it. Uh, I unfortunately don't know where to, okay. I was going to say I don't know where to place it, but apparently I can't even move it. I'm holding the gas pedal and it ain't moving. So let's just crush it like this then. Actually, I think if I turn the steering wheel, it might free it up now that I think about it. But oh well, too late. We're going to crush it like this because I said we we're going to crush it like this. And I'm a man of my word. If I say I'm going to let it get crushed, it's going to get crushed. Here the truck's coming. Let's see which one's going to appear first. Left or right? Left or right? Uh, left is here first. Yep, it's going to be a lot of uh, left crushing first. It's pretty much already obliterated by the time the next truck comes in. Look at that. You're already dead. And then the other truck just comes in to say hi. The next truck actually just drives right over you. It doesn't even seem like it really hits you. I guess it does a little bit. I just had to see the pigeon do it like that. That was... Well, I can't see the pigeon at all right now, so let's go ahead and remove the trucks off of me. Whoa. <laughs> uh, no pigeon left. None at all. I mean... Yeah, you can say that's the pigeon at one time, but it doesn't really look like it anymore. 
That's amazing. The amazing part is that's the front tire. It got pushed again, a 90 degree angle or so that just pushed that tire straight up. It's insane. All right, so let's go ahead and do the other Ibishu, the one that's not the pigeon, the, um, what's it called? The Covet. If I can find it, I can never find it. There it is. This would have been a good car. I could have used the new fancy vehicle selector, but I didn't think about it until right now, so it's too late now. We'll use a kind of an unusual green, like a darkish green. Let's see what that looks like. Not there we go. I like I like you know the thing is I'm used to those colors when the game first came out, like the each car kind of had its own color thing. I'm really used to those colors. So I, I like to use them. So we're gonna go and put this to uh right not quite in the center. Like you see this part's back more than this part so hopefully they'll hit me there I don't know if that'll actually work maybe I should just inch myself forward right before they hit me oh that is the perfect placement that is that was so perfect oh I hope my car still runs if my car still runs I couldn't that could not have gone any better the only question is does the car still run Oh, it's broken. No! And they fixed cheater transmissions. So you can't just hit Q until the car works anymore. Oh, that is amazing. This just looks amazing, though. Like, I've made a little house. I don't know. It just looks so weird. It looks like a house, kind of, to me. Like, the shape. I don't know. Right there. You see? It looks like a little house right here. It's like, ooh, you got the bottom, then you got the roof. It just looks like a little house. I don't know why. That is amazing. How's the interior look? Oh, yeah, you're dead. I mean, unless you're sitting right in the middle and you're a stick person, you're dead. That's crazy looking. I like these. these I like that you can rotate vehicles. You can do some crazy things now. All right, let's try to get them to hit me a little bit more in the rear end this time. So hopefully I can get a functional vehicle out of it. I think this is about where I put it last time. Where I put it last time was perfect. Hopefully this is the same spot. If not, oh well. Are they coming? Oh, yep. See, I'm put going forward. It'd be funny if I just dodge them and then they just smash into each other. Whoops. And brakes. There we go. That was a little bit more to the back. So that might still drive. Oh, it still drives. Perfect. It wasn't quite centered up, but it still got wrecked up on both sides. No problem. And it looks like it'll still drive. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, don't you love it when you're driving down the freeway and you see a car that looks like this? Look at that, it even goes up to 30 miles per hour, if that speedometer is accurate. I don't know how much wheel spin we're getting, obviously we're going to be getting some. Because this is not 40 miles per hour, but look, it drives. That's the amazing thing, is this thing drives! In your face, you can't break this. That is just one of my favorite things to do. I have no idea why, but making a front wheel drive car where the rear end is just obliterated is just so fun. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, let's change the, uh, crushing vehicles up. Because we've been using these D-Series the whole time. Let's, uh, let's get something bigger. Much bigger. Let's go with some T-Series instead of the D-Series. Like Touchdown, TD. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I stopped it. Oh my goodness. There's T and there's D. That means Touchdown. Like, that was just totally my legit thought process. And I just was like, oh my god, Touchdown. So we'll put it as orange. We're going to make the first one green, and then they're going to both be orange because I changed it to orange afterwards. All right. That one looks a little more off-center than the other one, doesn't it? Huh. How odd. I've totally lost where the center of this thing is, I'm pretty sure, by now. So I'm going to just guess we need to move it forward since we've been moving it back this whole time, and I think I respawned it backwards now accidentally. So I think we should move it forward, and that'll be the ideal location, maybe. I'm just guessing here. So anyways, the trucks take a little bit longer to get here as you see, but I hear them louder and louder. So there's the one, and that one is going to hit first from the rear still, so I should have actually moved it forward just a little bit more. However, that is pretty close. You know, it's about half a car length off. It's not a bad guess. So that one hits me, and then less than half a second later, there's the other one. This is like, it, there's no way it's going to live. Oh, yep. Wow, it really crushed in between the two. Like, it crushed it so hard, the big rigs also crashed into each other. With the car in between still being there. Well, I don't know if you can really consider that being there anymore. It's been crushed so hard. 
Let's go ahead and take these trucks off of it and look at it. I know I'm not looking at the cars that do the crushing because there's nothing too interesting about them. They're just in another car wreck as far as I'm concerned. The car that gets crushed. See, that's where it's interesting. You see, this thing is just... Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that thing. That thing is your super ultra dead. Even with a roll cage. That is with a roll cage, mind you. So that's... You know, so much stronger than a normal everyday car. And it's still obliterated. So I'm trying to think, what's something stronger? And I guess we could try the, the uh, D-Series here, because the D-Series is fairly strong. Not that strong, but it's reasonably strong, especially if you get the off-road edition, then it's even better. So we'll get a uh, D-Series, we'll get a pink! Wait, I said pink. Pink! We'll have to kind of center it up a bit. So last time I moved it forward a bit, so we'll move this one forward a bit too. And, hopefully that's a good placement. It's always hard to tell. Oh, why are you just jiggling, man? You're messing up the placement. My perfect placement is ruined because you're just bouncing back and forth. See, like this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I hear them, but they're so slow. It's still going to take a second. Look at that. Even at four times speed, it doesn't look like they're going that fast. I noticed they're too close. So I'm like, try to back it up. I don't know if that actually helps at all. Well, for the big rigs, the thing is, they're not going fast enough where it really matters when they hit it, because it kind of just pushes it along. The thing that happens is when you get them, when they both eventually hit it, it just, it just, it gets squished. Well, that's weird. It, like, kind of hit one, then it hit the other, then the other one hit it again. And now we just have a... Yeah. That really is quite amazing how well the big rigs are condensing any vehicle you put in front of it. That is amazing. <laughs> oh man. That is, that is beautiful. What else can we crush? Alright, what if we did crush a T-Series in this thing? I have no idea what's going to happen here. It might just be a lag. Well, it will be a lag fest. That's why we do everything in slow-mo. Less leg. Even with my computer, it's a problem. Are we missing a tire on that side? No, I guess not. It was just an illusion. It looked like it was like we were missing a tire for some reason. So I'm gonna guess right here is centered up, and then we'll go ahead and uh, go get them chasing me. I so wish you could have multiple cars with multiple colors. Because now they're all white big rigs, and I just realized it right now, and it's too late to change it. They are coming, right? Oh, yeah. Let's see, was I right to move it back a bit? No. Maybe? Yeah, I was, because I moved it back more than the difference of distances. I don't regret moving it. So the big rig has a chance to hold up, but it's still being crushed by two big rigs. If it's a if it was yellow, it could have been a banana big rig. So big rigs are strong. That's all you can really take from that, is big rigs are real strong. However, I think it's more fun watching the big rigs wreck a car versus wreck another big rig, don't you? So instead of using the big rig, let's use to finish things up. I mean, we could use the pigeon, but that thing already gets pretty much obliterated so, to the, so badly, there's not much more you'd really be able to see. So instead, what if we use a really low car like the bolide? I'm just wondering if anything different will happen with the bolide. There we are. And if I reset both of these, will they get color? No, I gotta do a full reset on them. But then they'll get some color at least, yeah. And now I just tell them to come at me and see what happens, really. I don't know at all where to center this thing anymore. I just, I am totally lost on that aspect. So I'm just gonna hope it's gonna be about centered. And if it's really, really off, I will adjust it. But I'm thinking it'll be pretty close. Yeah, it's, well, pretty close. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. The trucks are coming at opposite, like, like uh, angles. One's coming on my right, one's coming on my left. So that's gonna really would make it obliterated, I would think. Like, it's not even gonna just obliterate half the car. It's gonna obliterate the whole thing. Unless it goes under the truck, which is its only chance of surviving. Which it kind of did. Which is kind of boring, though, now that I'm seeing it. So yeah, you survived, but you made a boring video for surviving, man. I don't know if you survived. Let me uh, take these trucks off and look at it. 
Okay, you didn't survive. You're still absolutely destroyed and dead. But it was boring. You didn't get squished and crushed. Instead of a ball eye to finish things up, we need something else. Let's use the H series. I haven't used the H series yet, right? We won't use the box man. We'll just use a normal, normal van van. The van van. We can use a van van. Get it red. There you are. I don't remember which one hit first because I wasn't paying enough attention now that I think about it. That was dumb. I should have paid a little bit of attention to that, but I forgot to. Oh well. It's close enough to be, uh, to do it either way. And the car's crooked here, so that's going to be different. Are we in real time? Are they just really slow? They are just really slow. Alright, this one we're going to do a hundred times slow-mo, right? When the first one hit- Are you going to both miss? It almost looks like they're both going to miss. I guess they're going to make it. It's just the angle I was at. It's like, are you going to miss? Alright, that is actually really close to being centered after all. How interesting that it came like that. That is just weird looking the way it's crushing it. That is just the most awkward looking crash I've ever seen. One of them at least. Like they both just kind of clipped him. But because they both clipped him just enough they squished him at the same time and they both flipped over even. Oh my goodness. It managed to flip both of the big rigs over. It may have just been crushed by some big rigs, but at least got its revenge on him. That was weird. Totally not what I expected either. Which is kind of unfortunate, because I wanted to see with something in specific. I wanted to see a good crushing. Just a nice, good old crushing. Maybe we should have uh, centered this car up exactly. Let's see. Make it zero. See, it's all at like six and stuff. Make it a zero. Oh, that's height. It didn't seem like it changed position. And then let's uh, let's make it move it up just a bit and then put it sideways. So it's if, it's cause if they're gonna hit me all off center like that, I might as well take advantage of that. Hopefully that's actually centered up. I didn't really think that through. I should have rotated the car, then placed it and all that nonsense, but I didn't think that through. So hopefully that's still about centered. That was dumb of me. Oh well. Just gotta hope it works. Please, please, please. Looks like it's promising. That looks, yeah, that's really close to being centered. I'm happy with that placement, even though it's not exact. It is close. I don't know why the big rigs have decided to kind of be offset like that. That's just unusual. They just all of a sudden decided they wanted to do that. That car is just... It ain't fair to be that car. Alright, let's go and speed it up. They still drive? No way. It looks cool though, look how tall it looks. That's all. It's just a medieval way of uh, becoming taller. They had big rigs in medieval times, trust me. Okay, no they didn't. Uh, anyways though, that'll do it for doing this... Uh, crushing a car like this maybe uh, I'll do another video with a four-way crash if you guys are interested in that where we literally have a car coming from north south east and west I don't know if uh, it'll really be possible I have to try it out but I just thought of that right now after doing this video so if you guys would be interested in seeing that leave a comment and I'll look into it doing it if you are uh, but other otherwise till next time it's been YBR I'll see ya